This conference will now be recorded. I'm this happy. conference will now be recorded. Okay. So this is Ashutosh. I am having around 17 plus years of IT experience out of which more than 10 years into cloud cloud side majorly into Azure and Azure DevOps. So in this course we are going to cover Azure DevOps course, right? So we will discuss about Azure. What is Azure? What is DevOps and how that has importance in current market and why students should learn all those Azure DevOps and all and this is a demo session. So we'll go very little high level high level about the course and uh, in the further classes, we'll go into the detail, detail part. So with that, I hope my screen is visible to you. So this course will be divided into three parts. First is we'll discuss about the basic about cloud. What is cloud? Why suddenly cloud is so important in the market and how cloud is helping now the new uh, pressures or college uh, engineering graduates and even other graduate also to get a good opportunity in the IT market and all. Then we will discuss about Azure. Why Azure? Because as we know, there are many types of clouds are there in current market. Like from Amazon side, it is AWS. From a Microsoft side, it is Azure. And Google has its own cloud called Google Cloud Platform GCP. Similarly, other cloud, important cloud players are like, uh, you have Oracle Cloud, IBM Cloud, and uh, VMware cloud and all but among all this cloud why Azure is we should learn about Azure Then the last part of our course will come to cover DevOps Some of you may have already aware of what is DevOps and how it is helping us if you don't know also do not worry We will cover that in the end to end. What is DevOps? now DevOps is also a very equally critical and uh, most demanding platform in this current market and apart from devops why azure devops i'm emphasizing that also we'll discuss because in devops people who have wanted to build their career in devops area they must be seeing like there are many tools are available but now the most demand tool in the market is azure devops that is why we are including azure devops also as part of this course content right with that let me take you to the course content what we are going to cover here so majorly this slide is having the critical topics related to azure devops under which we'll discuss about different type of containers configuring diagnostic monitoring and analytics tool azure with packer and terraform then Azure function and logic apps and then understanding about the Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps is a complete package come from Microsoft Azure. And this my Microsoft this tool is and this tool is having several sub functions are there. We'll discuss each and every sub functions in detail with during this course content. These are divided into five part. One is Azure board, Azure repos, Azure pipeline, Azure test plan, and Azure artifacts. Now coming to this, all these things before going this, we will also, not only we'll cover a theory part of this, we'll also do a end-to-end -end project where I will show you a .NET project in this .NET project, we'll see how to use this Azure board, Azure repos, Azure pipeline, test plan, and artifact. So that student will get a complete clear picture how this Azure DevOps work, both theory side as well as practical side, that will help them to clear any interview they would like to appear after this training. Then the last topic which we are going to cover is Azure migrate project and customer billing optimization. These are some of the areas which are related to Azure DevOps. But before that, before coming to Azure DevOps, it is important for us to know what is cloud and what is Azure. So 
to and on part of that we will cover these things so as i told you we'll this will start with introduction to azure under which we'll discuss about cloud technology overview overview of azure how to manage azure with azure portal managing azure with window power cell overview of azure resource manager and azure management services many of you may ask or think like why you would need to know all these things because you will see nowadays azure is one of the most demanding cloud platform in the market if you will see the macro market share or the revenue generation and all those in the cloud market it is just next to aws it is second to aws and it is growing at a very fast pace in comparison to aws so future azure future is the future of cloud if i would tell that that won't be wrong so now the demand of aws is gradually less not very less but the way azure is expanding their features their services their regions they will be very soon becoming a, the number one player in the cloud market that is the reason and also azure is coming with this azure devops tool which is not the case of aws so if i have to compare with azure and aws in current market though aws is the number one cloud provider but the future is with azure that is the reason it is very much recommended if somebody wanted to have their career in the field of cloud or devops azure devops is the single platform or single subject they should learn which will help them to have a better career in this area and there are many organizations i will go to if you'll see the fortune 500 companies more than 95 percent of fortune 500 companies are using azure or migrating their on-premises business to azure environment that itself shows how azure is critical and how azure is on demand now if you'll see the packages where pressure is getting with azure with with azure or azure devops is starting with three to four lakhs to it goes up to 12 lakh or even 10 12 lakh or even more than that based on your experience and all so it is very important like engineering graduate or any graduate and one most interesting thing is to learn this azure and azure devops you don't need to know any prior programming languages many students come to us and ask us do we i don't know java i don't know .NET. so shall we can we learn azure or azure devops or not so my answer is yes if you know any programming language that is very good there is nothing wrong in that but if you do not know also there is nothing harm no problem because this course which we are going to cover will make you a azure administrator with azure devops knowledge and it does not require any single programming skill so that is the best part due to which for which every student should learn this thing so what we will cover after discussing about the cloud overview and all those things we will go to different services of azure we'll start with azure networking azure networking security group then azure virtual machine virtual machine scale set azure dns and azure standard load balancer azure application gateway azure load balancing designing and implementation azure storage azure sql database active directory azure backup and disaster recovery services azure app services azure based management and automation and so on so these are some of the critical and important services which will cover part of this course and when i will do these courses i will we will cover this class whenever we will take any topic we will first discuss about the theory part we'll see what is storage what are the different type of storage and all and then we'll do a end-to-end -end hands on or practical experience in azure portal so that's how in after learning or after completing this course you will, everyone will know or everyone can easily clear azure administrator certification and azure devops courses so that will give you 
anybody's career a very good boost and they can is confidently clear in the interview or open your apply any opening related to azure or azure devops now coming to this the course duration so this course is complete in a time frame of seven to eight weeks that means in every week we will have one hour class for monday to friday one hour each so the entire course duration is 35 to 40 hour within that time period we will cover this whole courses then if anybody has any extra any queries or any doubt or any open question you can always reach out to me maybe if we'll have a good amount of students then i normally used to create a whatsapp group where students can ask me any doubt any queries related to the topic and we can discuss and we can reply i will help you to learn that part so that is how this whole course is designed so this is more about the demo part if anybody has any anything else to know let me know otherwise from next session onwards we'll start with the topic so let's have the topic uh, let's complete our discussion for today with this we'll continue with the topic or with the cloud overview from the next session onwards madhav can we stop the recording now <laughs>